all ends. The rain, though, continuing to fall right now in southern Colorado. And we are continuing to keep our eyes on what's been a problem area, Highway 24. Tonight, Cardio News Channel 13's Jay Polk is near Ute Pass with the conditions there. Jay? Well, you know, James and Heather, so far, Highway 24 hasn't been too bad. We've seen a little bit of water standing on the roads on Highway 24, but as of this moment, of course, there have been no closures. We've seen some of that standing water really flowing down the hill, flowing into the creeks. This is a spot right here. This is Fountain Creek, where Camp Creek comes in. Remember, about an hour or so ago, we were standing near Fountain Creek. It wasn't flowing quite as heavily as it is right now, but this is the spot where Camp Creek comes into Fountain Creek. So as I go ahead and step aside and let photojournalist A.J. Vega pan over to my right, you can see that Fountain Creek here is running very high because Camp Creek comes in and adds its flow to the creek itself. And so while the run water is running high, of course, this is hopefully about as high as it'll get as we go through the next day or so. Of course, it will continue to rise at least a little bit as we see that rain come down from Woodland Park and from Cascade and from Manitou Springs. Speaking of Cascade, that's where we spent most of our day today. We did talk to some people there who, well, didn't mind all this rain that we've been seeing. It just uh, eliminates fire danger. Uh, it makes things green. Everything smells good and um, makes the flowers grow. I suppose there is a good side to everything. Of course, all the rain that we have seen has really done quite a bit of damage to that a rainfall deficit that we've been in, of course, for the better part of the past few years. No rainfall deficits now, I promise you, with all this rain that we have seen here at Fountain Creek. So far, again, Highway 24 looking pretty good. Waterlogged, but still looking pretty good. Fountain Creek is what we'll be tracking as we go through the rest of the night and into the day tomorrow. Live in Western Colorado Springs, Jay Paul, James and Heather, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Jay. We'll see if we can't keep it the way it is. See all that rain with none of the negative impacts.